Saturday morning, I set the alarm clock for 1.30, but I'm up, it's more like, um, I think it's like 1.15, but anyway, dozed off, I didn't really get the sleep that I would have loved to get, but we here, it's game time, so I'm going to document as much of this as I can for y'all, man, and hopefully you find some laughs and some good times, but more importantly, I hope that you be blessed by this thing we call motorcycling, so. It's time for me to uh, handle the throne. You got to do that before you leave, so stay tuned. <laughs> Peace. All right, so one of the most important elements for me when I'm riding at night is my contact. Um, I'm not like blind, blind, but I'm nearsighted, meaning that I, that I can only see stuff near, kind of far away. And at night, you want to see as far ahead of, as far front of you as you can so for me wearing contacts is uh is something that i do especially if i'm gonna be on my motorcycle at night and uh, we're starting off in the middle of the night so i always have issues putting these things in because i don't wear them these are the ones you wear and throw away I got a year supply of them that should have lasted me at least two years. There we go. It's only wearing when I need to. All right. So it's important, you know, for the little bit extra stuff like this that you do. Because the further you can see ahead at night, the better you are to protect yourself and the people riding with you. Um... You know, like I said, can I see without them? Yeah, but can I see with them? Hell yeah. <laughs> so like I said, do everything you can to make sure you, you know, kind of prepare yourself. Make sure I lubricate my eyes. These are going to be in for a while. <laughs> I'll probably take another set just to, uh, Just to change later on on the way and ride back. But in the meantime, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. It's going to be a, I don't know about bright sunshiny day. It's going to be a beautiful day though. All right. So again, safety, 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 safety is always the most important element of any ride, especially a ride of this caliber. I'm outside and it's hot as hell. I mean, I, I checked the weather. Like I said, it was going to be hot. That's why I knew I wasn't wearing my, uh, my uh, full suit. I knew it was going to be totally, totally unnecessary, so I just had decided against it, not to wear it, but, uh, damn, it's like hot, for real, for real hot, for no reason. I'm already sweating, I need to get moving, I guess, so I can stop sweating. Now, hopefully, it's going to get a little colder once it start moving, and, but I'm already nose running. Because I have on my dungarees. I think that's what the old people used to call them back in the day, dungarees. Long johns, whatever you want to call them. But I'm like, shit, I'm sweating for real. Alright, so I basically 
Just grab me a pair of drawers, socks, tank top, and an extra set of clothes to come back with. I mean, uh, you know, if I need be. And uh, some shorts and house shoes to run around in. You don't need much on a trip like this. <laughs> Make sure I set up my helmet. But again, on a ride like this, most important thing is safety. Oh, hold on. I'm kind of on a full stomach, but not really on a full stomach. Kind of. When I say kind of, I'm black as hell. Y'all can't even see me. <laughs> when I say kind of, that's what I mean. I'm kind of on a full stomach. But not really on a full stomach. Kind of on a full stomach. Got to take these. Take two of these red now. Take two of these right now. Oh, shit, I got them. That's the most important thing, my damn uh, energy drink. Hold on, man. Hold on. That was the whole purpose of me prepping up a little See, I'm talking about it's always going to be something last minute, always. energy drink in the game. Y'all see that right there? The baddest energy drink in the game. The hell with your uh, And whatever else. Uh, Excuse me. You rock with. The baddest energy drink in the game. Real quick prayer. <laughs> so we're gonna pray again anyway, but I always pray before I leave the house. I guess I should put my helmet on as a sign of respect. Okay, well we yeah. Most heavenly gracious Father God, I come to you. Thank you again for allowing me to do what I do, Father God, for allowing me just to <laughs> enjoy this beautiful planet that you created. Father God, I thank you for all that you do and all that you have done in my life. And I ask that you just continue to bless each and every person, Father God, that hears this. Father God, I pray for those who can't pray for themselves. I pray for those who, who may have been a little bit twisted, Father God. I ask that you bless them and continue to watch over them as you have been. Father God, I ask that you make my enemies my footstool. And Father God, I pray for health, wealth, and prosperity, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding beyond my wildest imagination. And Father God, I ask that you would bless this motorcycle to run and it was operated to run. Give me back to and from safely to my family, all ten fingers and all ten toes, and keep everybody safe, Father God. And Father God, bless the estates of this world. You, uh, you, you going to do something? Take the wheel, Jesus. Take the wheel, because the person they got driving now, Father God, is is it is what it is. But you already know that. So, in the name of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I pray for him and thank you in advance for this completion of. The Saddle Store 1000 and the Butt Burner 1500. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Let me get up out of here, man. Y'all playing. Y'all play too much. What we got? What we got? Receive up to date. Okay.
Linda. How do you uh, prepare this meal to eat? Hold on, let me look at this thing and prepare. I think, hold on. It's that new... You don't know if I'd hear Mosquito. Mosquito, I ain't got time for you today, Mosquito. Mosquito, 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 Mosquito. All right, so here we go. Bluetooth, connect. No, I want the... Okay, where you at? Come on, you wasting my time, player. Hold on, let me go to the instructions, damn. You always act like they know stuff. Quick guide. Sorry, I'll know it. Check, download. Oh, here we go. All right, anyway, let me get this done, man. Because I got to get up out of here. Adobe Acrobat. Do I got Adobe Acrobat on this phone? Here we go. Ah, oh, man, here we go. Anyway, last minute preparation, y'all. So, all right, here we go. How to pair. Power, volume, Bluetooth pairing. Center button plus on the center button for this 12 by stuff. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. All right, so come back here now. Connect your headset. <laughs> Well, yeah, well, yeah. I'm trying to pair with you. <clears throat> All right, this is taking too much time, player. Matter of fact, do I even want you? Yeah, I do want you on this phone right here. Why well, you're not finding? Come on now. I don't got all day for this shit. Should have did this shit last night. Probably was actually my fault. Anyway, been on here long enough, y'all. Stay tuned. Okay, good morning, Miss Lady. What's your name? Where you from? I'm Dom. I'm from Atlanta. 
And what do you ride? I ride a 2017 Harley Street car. Okay, what was, you're on the Iron Butt Challenge. What what was your inspiration for doing the Iron Butt that Challenge? I love to ride. Yeah. And I haven't taken a long ride in a, in a long time. And uh, I thought this would be a great challenge for me, something fun to do. So I'm excited to be doing it. Is this the furthest you've ever been? Texas? Uh, yeah, this will be the furthest I've ever ridden at one time. Well, you're doing your thing, man. So all during the day, I'll just be recording you. This is her pretty motorcycle. You know what I'm yeah, talking about? Pretty baby. What's the name? What's her name? You know what? Her name is Blackberry. Blackberry. Miss <laughs> Blackberry. <laughs> Well, there it is there, my girl, man. We on here, man, doing it. Right. This is our first gas stop, so yep, yep, how you right. feeling? Is this the first time you've ever been up this early? I'm a stretch and gas up, and we're going to keep it going. Is this the first time you've ever been up this early for a ride? Um, Yeah. That's the earliest time I've been up to like six. Okay. So I got up at one, BQ in Brooklyn, so yeah, this is a little early for me. Well, there it is I'm, there. Thank I'm you. In there. there it is. Say, man, I got the architect, the initiator of this ride right here. Good morning, sir. What's going on, man? I'm fighting sleep, brother. <laughs> Introduce yourself, man. Tell him who he is, man. Whew. Big shots, Q. We out here. <laughs> Michelle got me doing this damn thing. I got you doing it. You the one called me out. Uh, you, you know what I'm saying? You the light-skinned version of the bags. That's what you started. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, hey. No, what you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, so listen. What was your inspiration for doing the Iron Butt Challenge? You know what? I was watching YouTube and I seen a couple people doing it and I was like, you know what? After that run me and you did up to Niagara Falls, I yeah. was like, we can, we can do this. Yeah. We can do this. I mean, how hard or how difficult do you really think it is? You know what? Us stopping every two hours like this, yeah. you know, gas and stretching, I think we're good. Yeah. We can keep it going. Yeah. You know? well, I think we're going to, it ain't going to be nothing. How important is it for you to accomplish this and to have your name written in the Iron Butt, Iron Butt history books? You know what? That's a big deal. For yeah. Me. You know, I know a lot of people think we're crazy for doing it, but for me, it's like, I, I'm loving this, man. Huh. We out here. I, can, I can't wait for the sun to come up because <laughs> I'm damn. <laughs> well, there it is there, man. That's the initiator of this thing, my man Q. This is pretty much. What's the name of your motorcycle? Oh, this is Jewel. Jewel? Yeah. Jewel, okay. Jewel. Man, it's important to understand that everybody names their motorcycle, man. Everybody has a name for their motorcycle. I don't care if everybody got the same color. They all got their own name, special name, for whatever reason they have it. You feel what I'm saying? We do that, man. But y'all stay tuned. This is the Iron Butt Challenge first gas stop. I got about seven. So a total is eight of us. Seven Harleys, one gold wing, two females. We doing our thing, man. First gas stop. Y'all can see. We out here, man. Peace. Say, man, we live, we here, man. Tell them who you is, what your name is, what you got going on. What's up, Big Cell, man? I'm Andre from the ATL. Okay. Uh, all I can say, man, is I'm glad that uh, I follow you on YouTube, man, and, and I'm glad that I listen, man. Because yeah. I'm not having no regrets, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what you ride, man? Tell them what this pretty machine is, man. man. I got a 2016 oh, Ultra Classic. Yeah. 17,000 miles on in two years. Hey, you, you see you dropped that 17. What's the name? Here's a hurt. What, what's the name? Oh, this is May Francis right here in the back, man. May Francis? Yeah, May Francis. <laughs> May Francis, mate. May Francis. In memory of Miss May Francis, That's mate. Right. That's my grandma. Okay, okay. She, uh, she mean and she, she black as hell and, and she raised a lot of hell. She, she raised a lot of hell. So let me ask you this, man. What made you decide to do the Iron Butt Challenge? Uh, I was inspired by your post. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, other than that, I never thought about it. I heard of it. Yeah. And I heard you uh, put it out there. So, so why not? Okay. And I mean, to have it documented, it, it gives me all the bragging rights. Yeah. And I hear a lot of people say, oh, man, I'm a ground pounder. They only go to Birmingham every other weekend. You know what I mean? To me, that ain't ground pounder. Message. Yeah. <laughs> you say that part right that there. That part right there. Well, brother, I'm glad to have you. I'm glad I'm you down, took the man. challenge, man. Uh, yeah. So far, so good. You learn anything yet? Uh, 
this. Uh, that that uh, I don't ride a formation well. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing your thing. It takes a while to get used to. The, the biggest thing is you have to have the confidence that you need to ride your motorcycle. Right, right, right. And the way I got it staggered, you still in your own lane because you still right. go left or right. So even when you, you know, well, we. I didn't know if it was strict guidelines with the way nah, I mean, we, we, yeah. if, if, you know? if we were in a, if we were in a true MC situation and a true MC formation, then it would be. Right, okay. But right now, I want everybody to have fun, right. be comfortable. We've never rode with each other before, so all of that stuff plays a part. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's cool now. We got daylight man and members from highway. Is Miami. this your first long ride? Oh no. Okay. Uh, I uh, I said two years yeah, old, seventeen thousand miles. Yeah. I've been to Louisiana three times already this time. I'm okay. From Louisiana. Okay. I've been to Lake Charles and Monroe twice in the last three months. Okay. Well, brother, again, I'm glad to have you, man. I'm glad you enjoy yourself. And uh, we got about another 1,200 to do, man. Hey, man, we're going to do it. <laughs> there it is there. Man, this, this man introduce you yourself, man. Oh, Marvin. Okay, Marvin, what you drive, Marvin? What you drive, man? 2008 Honda Classical Goldweed. Okay, okay. What's his or her name? Uh, Goldweed. That's what the name is? Mm -hmm. You didn't name your bike yet? No. Okay, so... What made you decide to do the Iron Butt Challenge today? It's on my bucket list. It's on your bucket list? <laughs> it's on my bucket list. Okay, okay. Is this your first long ride? Oh, no, sir. Okay. It's no way. I'm just asking. Key West, New York, Texas. Come on, Texas. man. I'm just saying, man. New I'm Louisiana, asking. Louisiana. Okay. Uh, Florida several times. Okay, okay. Myrtle Beach. Yeah. Where else? Yeah. Memphis a couple okay. times. All right, well, brother, I'm glad to have you this morning. We're going to get it in. We got about another 1,200 to do. Uh, uh, one thing I'm going to say, say, man, I just want to say this to all my Gold Wing riders. We would stop at a Gold Wing shop, but it ain't none on the way. I'm just saying that, man. I'm gone, man. Say, so, brother, good afternoon to you. We catch you on this ride, man. First off, let me tell you, I love that shirt, man. Appreciate I love the way you did that, man. That's hot, man. Uh, were you ever in the service? Yes, I was. So that's the you doing? I just that whole hey, man, my man fit it, man. So you out here this morning on the uh, on the ride? What made you do the ride? The, the uh, challenge. The challenge. It was a challenge. Okay. You know what I mean? And uh, listen to the, to your YouTube videos, whatnot. Okay. Kind of inspired me and my co-workers. That's cool. You know what I mean? Because you're just funny as hell. You know? <laughs> what? But you keep it real at the same time. Oh, I got you. you know? So what's your name? They call me Alibi. Alibi. Wait, let's go look at this old pretty motorcycle, yeah. buddy. Yeah. What's, do that motorcycle have a name? Motorcycle has a name, too. We call her One Alibi. One, <laughs> one I'm Alibi. Gonna tell, I'm going to tell you why. Okay. My wife named it. Okay. Being that alibi comes from you better have an excuse yeah a legit excuse <laughs> yeah she called my black ass to figure out where i'm at yeah have a good alibi <laughs> where you at? so this is your one alibi right, here. My one alibi right <laughs> here i like yeah. that man that's hot yeah so let me ask you this man getting up this morning doing the challenge the whole nine yards for you what does the challenge mean the, the uh, challenge is, is to me is to see if i can do it okay on top of that, bragging rights. Okay. You know what I mean? There's a lot of cats I ride with, and they want a Baja. Yeah. They want to go in the perimeter of 285. Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I got a new ride with a note, yeah. every time I make a note on it, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to put that many miles That on part right there. Better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's it, it, it's just more of the challenge. And uh, we, we picked up your video maybe... Last week, some time on okay. Thursday, uh -huh. so we started prepping for you know, That's I mean? cool. you know, just trying to get mentally ready. So uh, I like when you said mentally ready. What have you done different for this ride that you've never done on any of your other rides? Do you have anything? Rest. Rest. Okay. Uh, stay hydrated. Okay. And uh, shit, I haven't 
this is the first ride I've been on where I wasn't able to drink no liquor. Okay. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to keep it that way until we get back across. You know, that part right there. The Celebration. Let me see the back of that shirt. Let me show him that shirt, man. That shirt hard, man. All right, well, there it is. This is my man, one alibi. This is my man, alibi. And this is Mr. Miss. Is it Mrs. or Mr.? Just one alibi. Just one alibi. And this is one alibi, man. Appreciate you coming out, man. Appreciate the FHO love, man. I appreciate the invite, FHO. Hey, man. There it is, there, man. Another partner right here. Introduce yourself, man. Tell him what your name is. Bird. Bird. Bird from Decatur. Bird. So, Bird from Decatur. What brought you on the ride this morning? Following you in online on, on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Saw the open invitation. Okay. Made sure I had to be here, you know. Made sure. To you, what's the most important about this ride? Just the experience. Yeah. You know, being able to say I did it. Yeah. Enjoying myself, you know. Um, it's just one of the things. It's kind of like bragging rights. Yeah. You know? Can't wait to get the patch. So, <laughs> <laughs> <you know? laughs> so let me ask you, how long you been riding? Oh, man. I got my license uh, about three years ago, maybe. Huh? About three years about ago. About three years? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got this back in uh, September. September. All right, so let's show them the bike. What do the bike have a name? Nah, nah, nah. No, you haven't named it yet. Not yet. Maybe once you get the paint job. Oh, once you get okay, she's gonna get the paint job. See, they added the bags to it. Whoop. Yeah, doing his thing. Oh, he, oh, he got the whole snap. Oh, he got it right, man. Look, 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 look. I mean, it's almost right. It's almost right. How you got oatmeal cookies with the with the with the hey, with? Man, you know, you gotta balance it out. You know what I'm saying? So let me ask you this, man. Uh, is this your first? Is this your longest trip? This will be my longest trip, yeah. Okay. I, I did one other long trip to Tampa. Uh -huh. uh, buddy of mine, birthday, and I figured, you know what, let me try it on the bike. And that was it, you know. Yeah. Other than that, we just do a little weekend rides, me and a couple buddies. That's cool. That's about it. So. All right, well, I'm glad to have you on the ride, man. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to yeah. try to teach you as much as I can, you know, show you this thing, man. And you know, It's motorcycling, man. Definitely appreciate it, man. <laughs> Check out the lessons I can get. You know? There it is there, man. My man Bird and this old pretty motorcycle we put together. What color are you going to paint it? Can we talk about that or are you just going to surprise uh, the world? pretty much the same, a two-tone, a black and burgundy. Okay. And, uh, you know, I got a little, got a little motif coming. This coming. You it's know, coming. I've been watching the candy shop videos, so I got some ideas. Oh, uh, there it is. Shout out to the candy shop, man. So we <laughs> old, man. I'll see y'all in a minute. All right, so, man, as you can see, it is Sunday morning. We did the 1,000 miles in 24 hours. Now we got 500 more miles to do, and we're looking at roughly about uh, 500 more miles. Well, we need another 500 in nine hours. That might sound easy. According to the GPS, we could do it in seven hours and 23 minutes, but that's not. The GPS doesn't give you gas stops and the event of anything happening. So today, we will be pushing the speed limit as, as much as we can, um, and we will be... Um, you know, making the gas stops as short as possible. We don't have time today for the games at all. So if we're going to complete this challenge, if we're going to make it, and that was our mission was to knock down both challenges, the 1,000 miles in 24 and 1,500 miles in 36. So you guys pray for us. Um, the weather is looking like it's going to be pretty decent, in and out of rain, showers here and there. But hopefully we can catch most of it in the daytime and get through it. I'm not even putting my rain suit on today. I'm just going to deal with it. Um, and just make the best of it, man. So, you guys pray for us. Let's get it. And uh, stay tuned, man. You see everybody getting up. We're still running late. We're supposed to be already on the road because we're an hour behind Atlanta. We're in Louisiana, which is an hour behind. So, we're trying to run because we have to be back at the BP gas station by 3 p.m. with 1,500 miles or better in order to qualify for this ride. The rules and regulations are super strict. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. No courtesy, no you almost, we love you, you're good people. We're going to give it to you. If you don't make it, you don't make it. It's just that simple. So either way it go, you know, the trip is a good trip because we put our name in the history books, but we're really trying to, you know, solidify with, the both, with both rides. All right? Stay tuned. Hold on, man. We're here. Hold on. Mike, it's done, baby. It's done. You ready to do it again? In the hell, man. <laughs> I know people want you to go on tour with this. Yeah. God bless. <laughs> <laughs> what was the most? What was the? Again, did you learn anything from this trip? Um, you know what? Just watching the way you handle the formation. Yeah. Watching the way you handle, because when we use it with me and when we travel, it's just me and BK. Okay. So to ride with. 
eight people, ten Especially people. Especially that we don't know, never rolled before. And the way you handled each personality. Okay. It's very cool. That's why I said you captained the ship very well. Because I don't have the personality to handle ten different people. Yeah. Everybody's hot. Everybody's tired. But you was good with everybody, man. But so. one thing, like I said, I learned just, to, you got to understand this, man. A lot of people want to do stuff, but they don't really understand what it takes. Like, what we endured last night, that rain and stuff, that was that was horrible, but we made it. That was 10 hours. Yeah, and we, we made it. And then not to mention, when we came together and changed the plan, and it ended up working better for us. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? So everything, it just you just have to, the biggest thing is you have to have the confidence that you can do it. Remember when I at the gas station, I said, at this point, you have everybody has to ask yourself, are we doing it or are you not? Yes. Yeah. Either you're going to do it or you're not. And if you're going to do it, let's go. Other than that. But what was nice is the way you kind of approached each person, personality. Yeah. And kind of settled everything. So that was, that was the way you captained the ship this weekend was dope. Appreciate you, brother. Definitely, appreciate definitely. you. Definitely. If y'all going to do a run, get Big Cell to captain the ship. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. She gone. Huh? She ready to go. <laughs> 285, right? Miss Lady, again, thank you very much. You did your thank thing. Thank you so much. Yeah. I enjoyed the ride. I look forward to riding with you again. Yes, ma'am. You it can ride with me any day. No well, complaints. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad I have your approval. <laughs> <laughs> time to go get some sleep now. Man, who are you telling? I know that's I right. said, I'm going to get ass on naked, take my skin off. I'm going to take, take, I'm gonna take my stomach off everything. Yeah, <laughs> Man, I just got off the phone with your boss. He said, you don't even have to come in to work. You, you got fired for that behavior you pulled at the goddamn gas station. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Gentlemen, it's done. Y'all ready to do it again? Hey, what, name the time of the place. But name I tell you what, this time here we're going to beat them 35 hours. Yeah. Let's try to do it in 31. 1524 hours. Now, that's a nice one. But see, nice. on that one, we need to go straight. Yeah. Ain't no turning around. Just one way 15. Just one way 15. Yeah. This is yeah. a one way 15. And that'll definitely be the plan. Yeah. So the goal won't have no issue. Oh, tell, tell Gold Wing <laughs> that again in yeah. detail. Well, what, one thing I want Gold Wing to know uh -huh. is that, hold on, what does it say? Warning temperature. 